Hello, Elementary Academy, Prodeo Academy scholars. This is week two, day one of our online music enrichment videos. The first thing we do when we start music every day is we sing our welcome song to get our voices a little ready. It's time for music class. Remember that clap? It's time for music class. We sing it the second time, our voice gets a little bit higher. We're gonna sing la la la. We're gonna play tap, tap, tap. Uh, the first ones were claps. These ones are taps, so you can tap your forehead, you can tap your fingers together, you can tap your body, you can tap the table in front of you. Uh, next, we're gonna move and groove. Maybe do a little boogie when we sing that. And have some fun today. Clap, clap. It's time for music class. And then the last one, we go up really high with our voices, especially at the end. It's time for music class. So let's do it, here we go. It's time for music class. It's time for music class. We're gonna sing la la la, we're gonna play. We're gonna move and groove and have some fun today. It's time for music class. It's time for go. After we sing that song, we usually sing that star song. Easiest song in the world, just gotta copy me. We are singing, tracking the tucker, crisscross applesauce, hands in our lap, voices off. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in Elementary Academy in this music video today. We will warm up our bodies and ears, then we will sing vocal warm-ups, and last, we will play a steady beat. That's our plan for today. So let's start by warming up our bodies a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do to start. Put your fists in front of you, and we're just gonna roll our fists around each other carefully, not to bump ourselves in the chin. Just roll them at whatever speed to start calm. Okay, now we're gonna get slower. 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 Slower, like you're moving in slow motion. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit, get a little faster. A little faster. A little faster, a little faster, Ooh, faster, 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 as fast as you can go. Okay, it's that. I guess my arms warmed up a little bit, which is great. Okay, we warmed our bodies up just a little bit. Now we're gonna get our ears ready to listen. Uh, I have my piano sitting here all ready for us. I'm gonna play a few notes on the piano. I just want you to think to yourself, is that note a high sound or is that a low sound? You could just think it to yourself, I'll let you know after. All right, here's the first one. Is this a low sound or a high sound? That's a low sound. How about this one? That's a high sound. How about this one? sound I could play on my piano. Okay, let's do the same thing. I'm going to switch instruments. This might challenge us a little bit because now we're going to hear a different sound. This is on my guitar. Is this a low sound or a high sound? That's a high sound. How about this one? That's a low sound. Last one. That's a low sound too. That's the lowest note that my guitar can play. All right. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna play a song on my guitar. And to start, I'm just gonna play it kind of a normal speed. Just kind of how I would normally play it if I played it to myself. Um, this is a song 
by a singer named Adele, so some of you might know it, and I'm just gonna sing the chorus of the song. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. Don't forget me, I beg. I remember you said sometimes it lasts in love, and sometimes it hurts instead. Okay, now I'm gonna play it a little different, and I just want you to think to yourself, what am I changing when I play it? Here I go. on how I changed it. What did I do different when I played it that time? That time it was a little bit slower. Okay, I'm going to play it again. See how I changed it this time. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. of music. The first time I played it at kind of an average, kind of normal tempo. The second time I slowed the tempo way down, made it a slow tempo. Then the last time I sped the tempo way up and played a fast tempo. Tempo is the fast and slows of music. Uh, that's why we practice moving our arms fast and slow at the beginning. We're going to start working with tempos in music. Okay, we're moving on to the next thing. We've warmed up our bodies a little bit. We've warmed up our ears. Now we're going to warm up our voices. And I'm going to do something with you that usually kids don't maybe start to do until middle school. But we're going to try it now in elementary academy. These are called vocal warm-ups. I wrote down eight that we're going to go through today. And we're going to use these pretty much any time that we sing a song starting in our next video. Uh, it might be that I pick one or two for us to do to get our voices ready to sing. So the first one on my list is called Roller Coasters. That one's super fun. I like it because it gets our bodies involved and it's also kind of silly to do. So I hope you like it too. To do roller coasters, I just start by tracing circles here by my head. When my hands are high, my voice is gonna get high. When my hands are low, my voice is gonna get low. And when I do it to start, I usually just like to think about my breath. And then I'm going to start making sound and it's going to sound like this. Woo! 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 Those are my high sounds. Woo! 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 The higher I get with my voice, the bigger my circles are going to be. Woo! 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 When I get here, after I do three circles with my voice, I drop my voice and my body down low. Woo! Till I'm hanging out in front and my voice went as low as it can. So putting it all together, it sounds and looks like this. Woo, woo, woo! Then I hang out down here. All right, let's do some vocal roller coasters. We're going to do three of them together. So get your circles going. Focus on nice deep breaths. Here we go. Woo, woo! Two more, make circles. Mm -hmm. woo, woo, woo. All right, one more, circles. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. There we go. That's our first. 
first one, roller coasters, get our voices ready. The second one is called scales. For this one, I'm gonna need my piano to help me make sound. When we do scales, our goal is to practice making our voice kind of slide up and slide down. We don't do big jumps with our voices. And our goal is also to do what's called pitch matching, which means that your voice sounds like mine or your voice sounds like the piano. So I might say to you, when we do scales, that we're going to do it on an ah uh, sound. So that might sound something like this. My voice made the same sounds, hit the same notes as the piano did. Um, those are called half scales. A full scale might sound like this. Usually when we do scales, we do half scales though. Okay. Uh, also, when we do scales, we're going to try to stretch our voices out. Just like before, maybe you play a football game, you might want to do some stretches with your arms or stretch your hamstrings out. Or before you do a big run, you might want to stretch your muscles. Your vocal cords are also kind of a muscle, so we need to stretch those out and get them ready to sing. So when we do scales, we're going to stretch it by maybe singing as low as we can or as high as we can. Uh, to start today, we're just going to get a little bit lower every time we sing it. So I want you to sing with me at home. And as we sing our vocal warm-up with scales, you're gonna do an ah uh, sound. And I want you to open your mouth pretty wide. Ah, uh, not ah, uh, we don't wanna be blatty and sound goofy. We wanna make a nice, pretty singing voice, okay? So here we go. Uh, scales but our mouth does something kind of weird um, instead of going ah or maybe I might say e or ooh or o oh, one day when we do scales when we do lip buzzes we just our lips just make them move around like a raspberry kind of uh, so we're gonna do the exact same thing but instead of making a syllable we just buzz our lips and we sing it with our throat so let's do lip buzzes this time when we do the scales we're going to go as high as we can as we do our lip buzzes. Here we go. A little higher. when I do it. Kind of silly, but it's good to get our voices warmed up. So there might be days when I say, let's do scales and let's do it on an ah sound. Ah. I might say, let's do lip buzzes. I might say, let's do it on an E sound. E. I might say, let's do it on an O sound. O. We just have to kind of be ready for everything. Okay, we're moving on to number three. Number three is called Kuya. Kuya is another fun one to do, but it, it teaches our voice and gets our voice ready to do different things. When we did scales, our goal was to kind of slide up to notes and slide down to notes. When we do Kuya, we go through jumps with our voices. So instead of, it's big jumps with our voices. Uh, the words are simple to this one. It's just ku ya, ku ya, ku ya, ah, ah, ah. When I do ku, I put my lips way up. Ooh, ku, ya. Open your mouth really wide when you do ya. Okay? 
Here's what it sounds like for now. Let's just listen. Sing it with me. Here we go. There we go. Okay, uh, when we do kuya, just kind of like scales, we're going to stretch our voices. So I might say we're going to do it as low as possible or we're going to do it as high as possible. Uh, let's go low with this one because we're just starting out. I always like to start low. Okay, so we're going to do kuya, 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 ah, ah, ah. We're going to do it over and over and over again, but every time we do it, we're going to get a little lower. Here we go. Kuya, kuya, kuya. to surround them and that's because these are same in a very important way for music. The next three are called legato, staccato, and marcato. Those are words uh, in Italian that are words that are that stand for music articulation and that's a big fancy word. Music articulation basically means the style that we sing or the style that we play in. Because music sounds different based on what you're singing about. You might have a calm song, you might have a jumpy song, you might have kind of just a strong song. Um, so these are three of the many, many different articulations that we can sing or play in. The first one is called legato. I wrote the words to legato on this little whiteboard. So let's read it together. Sing legato, ah, 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 oh, 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 flowing from note to note. Sing legato, ah, 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 oh, 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 smoothly. There we go. When I sing ah, 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 oh, 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 I'm going to open my mouth, ah, nice and wide. When I sing note to note, I'm going to make that T sound, note to note, very crisp and clear. That's called enunciation. This is what legato sounds like. You can read along on my whiteboard. I'm gonna sing it by myself right now. Your job is just to listen. Sounds like this. running my fingers through a pond of water, running my fingers over silk. It's very calm, very smooth. So I want you to try to sing it with me. This reminds me a lot of when we do scales because our voice just kind of slides up and down. So here we go. Ah, oh, mouth nice and wide. Sing legato. sing that when we get a little higher. But our goal when we sing legato is just to sing it in a smooth style. The next one is called staccato. Staccato is kind of the opposite of legato. The words are Staccato is short and snap a a a b staccato is short as notes can be. This one's pretty quick. It sounds like this. For now, just follow along. Mrs. Adams will sing it. Staccato is short and snap a a a b staccato is short as notes can be. Staccato is short as notes can be. When I 
sing staccato, I put a lot of space in between each sound. Staccato is short and steppy. So let's try it together. Here we go. Breathe with me. Staccato is short and steppy. Staccato is short and those can be. There we go. Third one is called marcato. Here are the words to marcato. Marcato is strong with a, a, a accents. We sing with strength and deep tone. When we sing marcato, it sounds a lot like staccato. We sing the same notes. I play the same thing on my piano. Um, but we don't put space in between the sounds. Before it was staccato is short. Now it's going to be marcato is strong with accents. I don't pause in between each sound. So let's listen to it first. I notice when I sing marcato, my eyebrows get kind of low like this. I always think it sounds very serious. Here's what it sounds like. Marcato is strong with accents. We sing with strength and deep tone. I always pretend like I'm an opera singer when I sing this one. Okay, uh, let's sing this one together. Here we go, breathe with me. Marcato is strong with accents. We sing with strength and deep tone. There we go. We have two more to do. These one, last two I think are just fun ones. So the next one is called Picking Up a Pepperoni Pizza. The words are Picking Up a Pepperoni Pizza. Lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. Uh, this is what it sounds like. For now, we're just going to listen. Mrs. Isles will sing it to you. Follow along with the words. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. When I sing this with students, I usually like to sing it a cappella. A cappella means without instruments. So before, when we were doing Kuya, I played the piano with it. This one, we just use our voices because that's a great thing called ear training, making sure that we can sing our voices without being able to hear the things around us. It also helps us build our confidence a little bit when we sing. Uh, what I like about pepperoni pizza is whenever we sing it, we sing it faster and faster every time we do it. So you really gotta listen for Mrs. Isles and hear her voice to make sure you're following along. So we're gonna do it, mm, let's do it four times through, and every time we do it, we're gonna get a little faster, so be ready, here we go. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, bigger bite of pizza, me oh my. Okay, same thing now, a little faster. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, bigger bite of pizza, me oh my. Again, faster. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, bigger bite of pizza, me oh my. Oops, I forgot to flip it. Okay, last time, but we're gonna go even faster. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. We can get even faster than that once we learn it really well. Okay, we have one more left to do. That's called bumblebee tuna. I like this one because of the bumblebee sound. We have to make a lot of bee sounds with it. Here are the words. It goes, I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Love a sandwich made with bumblebee. Okay, here's what it sounds like. Follow along with the lyrics. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Love a sandwich made with bumblebee. Okay, when we sing bumblebee tuna, it's kind of like pepperoni pizza. I always play piano with it though, where every time we sing it, we get a little faster. But the added extra challenge is not only do we sing it faster, we also get higher or lower every time we sing it. To end today, we're gonna get higher every time we sing Bumblebee Tuna. 
So we're going to start off at that speed I just did, sing it with me, and then we're going to go right into the next one, sing it again and again and again. It's going to get higher and faster every time. Here we go. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Love a sandwich made with bumblebee. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. I love bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee tuna. Love a sandwich made with bumblebee. working on that. So those are our eight different vocal warm-ups. There are many more than that. Those are just the eight that I thought would be fun for us to introduce today. Here's how we're going to use this in music class. Let's say, for example, that we sing The Ants Go Marching. We covered that song last week, but that's just a great example because maybe we know how that goes. So I might say to myself before music, the ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. I don't think that's a legato song. It's not really a smooth song. You might say it's staccato, maybe short and snappy, but I think marcato fits that one best. Nice and strong. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. My eyebrows are even coming together a little bit. So I might say that day, okay, we're going to do a vocal warm up before we sing the ants go marching. We're going to do marcato because it helps us get our voices ready to sing in that style. Um, I'm also hearing da -da 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 -da. there's a lot of big jumps in the ants go marching so I might say okay we're gonna do cool ya for sure to get our voices ready to do those big jumps and then I might just pick bumblebee tuna just because it's a fun one just to end with so that's how we'll use vocal warm-ups it's getting our voice muscles and our throats and our bodies ready to do some good singing I love doing vocal warm-ups they're so much fun okay last thing we have to do is we're just gonna practice some steady beats. So I have two rhythm sticks. If you need to pause the video now to find something to use like rhythm sticks, you can. Maybe instead of rhythm sticks, you have two markers. Great. Maybe you have two crayons. Wonderful. Maybe you have two Barbie dolls and you're going to tap them together. If you can't think of anything, you can just use your fingers like this and tap your fingers together. I'm going to tap a steady beat. I want you to watch what I do and tap it along with me. Here we go. And pause. Okay, now I'm going to slow down the tempo. Do you remember what tempo means in music? We talked about it at the beginning. I'm going to slow down the tempo. So think about what that's going to sound like before we start. Okay, I'm going to tap a slower tempo. Why don't you tap it along with me? Here we go. And set. And last one, now I'm going to tap a faster tempo. What would that sound like, do you think? Think about it first. <laughs> What's a fast tempo sound like? Okay, tap with me. And stop. Okay, nice job. Today we warmed up our bodies and our ears a little bit. We talked about what tempo means. We sang through eight different vocal warm-ups and we practiced a little bit of a steady beat. Thank you very much. The last thing we do before we leave music class every day is to do our train exit. We start with a slow, 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 slow sound. Then we switch to fast, 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 fast. And then a slow, 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 slow sound again. And then again a really slow one where we let all the air out of our lungs. 
So we start by breathing as we count to four, and then we do that on a ch sound. Here we go, elementary. Breathe with me. There we go. Thank you for making music with me today. I hope you have a magical musical day. See you next time. Bye-bye.